Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics and a quick update today from Kuya Silver as they have some news that I know they are certainly quite excited about as they have reached an agreement for toll milling with the nearby San Valentin plant, which is owned by Campania Minera San Valentin, where they will begin processing the front of mine material from their Bethania project, which is just 20 kilometers by road. This is the same plant that formerly processed Bethania's ore back in 2013 to 2015, has a capacity of 500 tons per day and allows Bethania and Kuya Silver to finally go into production, which is something I know that they've been waiting a long time to do and have been seeking out the right place to get the ore processed. And now they finally have that in place. Kuya is gonna have three concentration circuits available for production of silver lead, zinc, and copper silver. This deal is for 24 months with both parties having mutual agreement on the renewal and Kuya will be able to have five designated personnel on site to monitor the processing, which will be delivered in batches of 1,000 tons or more. Although there's no minimum production obligation for Kuya, and these services include on-site logistics, temporary storage, plant security, and quality control. And we have a note here from Christian Aramayo, the chief operating officer, who mentions they're excited about the new agreement, pleased to be able to return to a plant where they have familiarity and previous experience which is a significant advantage for them. Trucking distance is also a bit shorter than the other options that they have available, which should lead to material cost savings once production begins. And as part of their toll milling agreement, Kuya will be paying an upfront payment of 230,000 US dollars to Campania Minera San Valentin. And Kuya is going to begin the preparatory work so that they can restart production over the next couple of months, especially for areas that have seen little or no traffic in the past seven years. That work will include removal or replacement of certain underground supports, water pumping, removal of broken rock material, tunnel, rail, and ventilation maintenance. And they're going to start at areas with the existing underground infrastructure before transitioning over to the newly developed areas. And to shed a little more light on that, Kuya did do a live webinar with Red Cloud earlier today, although I know you'll be able to get the replay. So I'll put the link to that in the description field below, as well as the link to this press release. And congratulations to Kuya. I know this is something they've been working hard to get in place and is now up and running. So in a short matter of time, they will officially be in production. And you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description field to read this press release. And congratulations to Kuya, and I uh, will see you again tomorrow.